Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2019 so uh, that being said uh, <clears throat> this is, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for Aquarius star sign and for that reason uh, the reading will resonate differently with every single uh, one of you. So in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread as well as I'm going to give a couple of examples just to be uh, more clear but at the end you have to align that reading with your personal situation and if you want your personal situation to be analyzed just like the examples in this video uh, then uh, you gotta go for a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing so I uh, quite over an emotional week it is what we do have for you Aquariuses and yet it's not going to be a, a very active week now it does look like that you are searching for the right man or for the right person should I say that way and uh, you are getting there what I can say here and it does look like that throughout this week that person is gonna come around now is this person a love interest or business interest well that depends entirely on you but either way that will lead to huge emotional satisfaction this is you having these couple of cards so that is the person you are searching for or this is the person that searches you as well so you may not search them consciously you know but uh, along the way for example you gave up to search for your, for a suitor and just go with the current and bang this uh, this week a suitor finds you that is just for example or you stop searching for a business partner gave up on that idea and bang that week a, a business partner finds you either way uh, you know it does look like that you will have an opportunity throughout this week Aquarius is to uh, obtain a, a very valuable and faithful companion either career wise or relationship wise and that is really the person so what kind of qualities he has if we talk, if we're talking about business wise that is a, a very professional man the, the, he likes to contemplate he likes to examine and as well he has a, a quite of a, a untraditional and um I, I don't want to say brilliant, but more like strategic and creative way to solve problems or to execute business ideas. If this is about a romantic relationship, then this person is very conservative about their emotions. They don't uncover their emotions just in front of everybody. For the people that are, are, that are just a trifle for them or, they are, or for the people that are meaningless to them, they seem like senseless beasts or kind of like a senseless people that are not capable to experience deep emotions. While to the people that they decide to uncover themselves, they are very gentle and they are in, uh, literally capable or they are indeed capable to have those deep emotions and profound emotions so it could look like you know from a side from for example if that is about a romantic suitor here and uh, you know you share with your boyfriend or with with a friend of yours excuse me that uh, you know you are now dating that kind of a person and they say, oh man, he, he, he looks like a, a jerk, you know, and he, he doesn't look like that he is capable of romantic and etc, etc. This is because they don't feel, that person here doesn't feel uh, obliged to show everybody, you know, what they feel towards you. They think that the most important thing is what they show you and no one else. They, ke they keep their emotions for you and for no one else and as I said that you have already did uh, the necessary steps in order to find the partner you need either career or relationship wise that is displayed here with the three of cups you have either done some significant progress with your business endeavors or you start opening your 
social circle where you started to socialize more with people or to share your it's not even daily routines but more like to share parts of your life with the people around you only with those that you find valuable to yourself of course not with everybody and basically what happens is that this people this person here excuse me is kind of seeing very gentle soul within you they, they are seeing that actually you are worthy for their emotional um, devotion so uh, you need to keep the good job here and you need to continue on involving yourself with a, uh, a mutual experience with other people you know like cooperations hanging out with friends with, with uh, going on the parties as well you know uh, uh, again hanging out with, with, with a group of people with, with a group of people and as well you should not deny if someone approach you and uh, kind of like asks to know you better it's not gonna hurt you know showing who you truly are that doesn't mean that you have to instantly give them your uh, your phone number you know but uh, at least you can say something for yourself and you can show them uh, what kind of a soul you are so they can decide uh, or they can see what potential they have with you either career or relationship wise now the next card however here we do have the king of swords and that comes as a challenge which is causing predicaments and I don't believe that that is a, a person this card here represents the uh, lingering strings that you and that person here has which are preventing each other to be closer to each other if that makes sense so the king of swords here represents the grand scheme of things or how uh, the grand machine of time works so uh, basically you and that person has to clear first from uh, unsettled businesses either career or relationship wise before uh, you both can be together in either business or in either relationship just for an example you know uh, they find out that you can actually um, return their emotional commitment all right but in the same time they're in a process of divorce so they cannot commit because they still are tied to previous relationship or they have too much work to do in their career okay and they they decide they cannot put the necessary devotion into that relationship again something that obstructs it so it is very important not to be biased just because things cannot happen overnight here as a matter of fact because we do have the high priestess it means that this is gonna take time and it's gonna take a lot of time and the best thing that you can do throughout this week especially is to define is there a uh, a matching between you two on a, a much profound level than just a, the just on the surface so for example you do see that there are chemi chemistry in between you two but you need to uh, examine do you miss that person or are you are you capable to uh, to be um, as successful as you are without them in your business are you capable to manifest your idea business wise without them and etc etc the high priest is here points that how the things are going to turn out with that person it does depend entirely on you i mean no one else can give you this is a about seclusion and it is a about answering yourself what you want to do and how you're going to do it most importantly because the answers that the high priestess gives they come from within they cannot come from a tarot reader or from astrologer they just come from within so you got to listen to your inner voice you got to listen to uh, your i don't want to say intuition because inner voice is different from intuition and i'm going to explain it to you inner voice is when you do have the hints so something will going to be triggered from a poignant past of yours for example that is going to tell you no you should not commit with that guy or with that girl or it could be a something triggered from your positive past that will tell you well you missed that opportunity before do not do it again all right so that is the inner voice while the intuition it 
the intuition is something very different. The intuition is something that you have no clue that you have reached that decision uh, or it is based on. But here you do have the clue. It may come subconsciously, but yet you do have the clue. You do have a similar situation from the past. You just need to dig deep uh, within your mind for it. I hope that I do make sense about it. That is the best way that I can explain the high priestess and what is the difference in between inner voice and the difference in between uh, intuition. It is just what you need to know here uh, with the King of Swords. There are higher powers than just being together either in business or either in relationship. And before those higher powers are in favor of you both and they are um, kind of connected with law and order because the king of swords is the ultimate keeper of the law and order among the ma minor arcanas all right uh, you basically cannot have the full extent uh, extent of mutual cooperation but you are getting there it is just gonna take time guys and you have to be you you basically need to find a true value in this person how helpful he can be uh, or she can be in your business or how loving that person can be into one relationship. So that was uh, the tarot reading. Now we are going to the Lenormand one and what the Lenormand cards are going to show us is a event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Alright, so... So the first card that we do have, this is the bucket, and the bucket is associated with gifts, is associated as well with benefits, uh, it's associated with income, but not just money, you know, everything that you can uh, use as a resources here. Then we do have the key, and the key is associated with closing or opening doors, and again, and as well discovery. And then the next card that is going to be uh, the, uh, the mountain, which is associated with delays, problems, and uh, the long way through. So what uh, here, basically what we do have is that uh, a benefit, obviously, or a gift is going to help you close the door to troubles, right? Or basically a gift is going to help you close the door to the long way through, and it's gonna help you to go through the short way through. So obviously we are talking about someone that is going to contribute very, very, uh, it will have a, a very big contribution for your well-being. Probably someone new that you are going to meet through you socializing and uh, meeting new people in your life. And I hope that you can find the true value in this person. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was just a general reading for Aquarius star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate differently with every single one of you. Uh, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed, just like the examples in this video, that is the subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.